Too bad the way this train keeps stopping and starting. What time are we due at the camp? 1600 hours, sir. What? Four o'clock. <laughs> Four o'clock. Four hours to do an hour's journey. It's absurd. I don't know it's going to take this long. I'd have brought something to eat. I'm starving. But I hope we get there soon. Why? But it's all very awkward. This not be the corridor train. <laughs> Very, very difficult indeed. Oh, just have to control yourself, Godfrey. <laughs> war on, you know. An act of service. I've got an idea, Mr. Godfrey. Why don't you recite a poem? I take your mind off it. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, the owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful... <laughs> green, green boat. Took some uh, 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 honey. That's a honey. And plenty of money. A plenty of money wrapped up in a five pound note. <laughs> the owl looked up at the moon Don't above. Oh, get up. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Now, now that we've stopped, perhaps, uh, perhaps Godfrey could um, nip outside. <laughs> it's a very good idea. Nip outside, Godfrey. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful. It's an awful long way down. Don't get on with it. Come on, Mr. Godfrey. Uh, anyone, uh, please shut the door. That's all right. All right, Godfrey. All right. Now, make haste. Spring would appear to be a little late this year. <laughs> What are you talking about? Oh, I'm just trying to be a little bit nonchalant, sir. After all, Why? we don't want to put... Well, we don't want to put Godfrey off. <laughs> oh, rubbish. We're a fighting force on active service. Godfrey, just have to learn to rough it. Yes. Get him in. Get him in. <laughs> <laughs> Godfrey. No, I'm afraid not. The owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful green boat. They took with them honey and... Wilson. Looks a bit deserted. This is where the guard told us to get off, sir. Oh, that could be a trick. How do we know he was the guard? Well, he was wearing railway uniform. That means nothing. That could be a trap. We must always be on our guard, Wilson. Yes, but our guard got back on the train, sir. Are you trying to be funny? No, sir, no. Obviously, you're a little bit on edge. After all, you haven't had any lunch, have you? 
I think I'll open these sealed orders. All right. Sealed instructions for opening sealed orders. Hmm. Break the seal on the sealed orders and then destroy these instructions. Thank you. Ah, yes, just as I thought. Perfectly straightforward. We are here yeah. at X Railway Halt. Mm -hmm. Map prevention. Yeah. There's that hill. Oh, yes. And here's the battle school. Mm. See? My preference. The one. Mm. Oh, it's only about a mile away. We'll be there by tea time. Oh, thank goodness for that. For two ready to march off, sir. Thank you, Paul. Where's Godfrey? He's, uh, he won't be a minute, sir. <laughs> oh, well, he just have to catch it up, that's all. Now, pay attention, men. As I know the way, obviously, I should be well in front. Somerson, you bring up the rail. All right, sir. Stay in front. Slope. Out. Right turn. By the left, quick march. All the Don't you tip we were going to be there by tea time, sir? All right, Wilson. There's no call for sarcasm. I took the wrong turning. <laughs> the hood! About! Turn! Break! Ah! Left! Left!
Cross and food parcels. And look at the table, I'm in that clock. We've been four hours on our way here from the station, and it's only a mile away. You know, I don't think Mr. Manning knew which was the way any of the time. Yeah, that's a disgrace, leading us into an ambush and then losing his way at. Yon fella doesn't, shouldn't be in charge of oh, men. He's no fit. Well, man, we got here. I was dead. Better late than never, eh, sir? <laughs> Do you think the, that this course includes map reading this weekend? Uh, yeah. Walker, 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 please. Oh, good evening, Captain Manley. Oh, good evening, sir. <laughs> got here at last, then. <laughs> Too late for the evening meal, I'm afraid. Supper finished four hours ago. Oh, no. Four minutes, sir. Fall in, fall in, three ranks. Do as you can. No, 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 it's all right, Andy. You can all relax. We don't go in for a lot of formalities here. Oh, good. Well, um, as you chaps know, this is a special home guard battle school. We just have this weekend to initiate you into the uh, intricacies of guerrilla warfare. Well, the man who's going to be in charge of you for these two days is uh, Captain Rodriguez, the... Yes, he's um, a very expert in guerrilla tactics. He uh, fought in Spain during the Civil War, you know, and, uh, well, as we know, it's a very dirty business. He looks as if he hasn't had a wash since. <laughs> <laughs> My job here is to keep a parental eye on you, all right? So you don't get knocked about too much. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Well, thought some of us aren't as... Uh, Young as we are, are we? <laughs> Permission to speak, sir? Yes, certainly. Don't you worry about us senior soldiers. You can do what you like to us. We can take it and we can dish it out. We're very good with old cold steel, sir. They don't like it up a minute, sir. They do not like the cold steel. All right, all right, all right, all right, Jones, all right, all right. Yes, that's the spirit. <laughs> well, I'll leave you in the capable hand of Captain Rodriguez here. Carry on. Hold, stand, cut. What? Oh. Oh, jolly good. Hold, <laughs> stand there. You can cut yeah. all that business out. We do not do any of that arm waving and shunning round here. All we do is to teach you how to kill Nazis. That is all I am interested in, killing. <laughs> is that clear? Well, uh, perfectly clear, thank you, yes, sir. Clear to you, Sergeant. Yes, it is, sir. Crystal clear. <laughs> Good. Now, are there any questions? Oh, I don't think so. You any questions? Well, what about asking him, however, about the food situation? Ah, sir? yes, that's a good idea. When do we get a meal? The cantina is closed four hours ago. Oh. Never mind, I always think of my men. Here, some carrots and onions. Carrots and onions? It's what you would eat if you were living off the land. Onions? What is wrong with onions? I always eat them. I'd never have guessed. <laughs> Well, you can. They're getting very scarce. Right, you got your food. You, old man. Yes, sir. You see that pile of straw over there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With it, you stuff your pally ass. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Put it in your pally ass. <laughs> He's a bit continental, isn't he? <laughs> Right, Captain, you have a palace to lie on, a blanket each to cover you, some carrots and onions to eat. What more could you want? Absolutely nothing, I should think. <laughs> You'd all better get some sleep. In this place, we start early in the morning. In 
never seen anything like it in my life. That, that brigand is a captain of the British Army. More like an anarchist to me. Well, thank goodness he's on our side, sir. <laughs> now, then, we've got a very strenuous weekend ahead of us. So when I give you the command, fall out, I want you to fill your palliasses with straw. Thank you. All right? All right. There you are. What a shambles! Straw! Just lie on him. One blank in each will freeze to death! Oh, Uncle Arthur, I'm so looking forward to this Get weekend. The night goes and turns out like this is rotten. That's what it is. All right, Frank, all right, all right. There's no need to blub about it all. Oh, I'm not blubbing. This is straw. It's brought on me hay fever again. <laughs> I don't think I ought to eat raw carrots and onions, though. It'll give me dreadful indigestion. Don't you worry, Mr. Godfrey. I've got the old bike cob here. Oh, we'll be all right. You I know how to dish out these uh, you, carrots and onions. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. I know that we've only got one blanket each, so as usual, we shall have to improvise. I know uh, how we can keep warm, sir. I've got a good idea. Why don't we all huddle together? When the nights was cold in the Sudan, we used to do a lot of that, so we used to do a lot of huddling out there, sir. <laughs> I'm not too sure about that, Corporal. I'm... <laughs> that might be bad for discipline. Still in circumstances, I don't see why we shouldn't stretch a point. I'm very particular who I huddle up together with. <laughs> so we all are, if it comes to that, Fraser. I think you will all feel a lot better after a good night's sleep. Hey, well, sir, here's your caddy ass. Oh, thank you very much. Good night. There we are. <laughs> thank you very much, Godfrey. I finished my carrot and I'm still hungry. No, no. You can have the rest of this. I seem to have grown rather tired of it. <laughs> Uncle Arthur. Oh, what is it, Frank? Oh, I'm ever so cold. What? Oh. Can I cuddle up to you? <laughs> Frankly, I'd rather you didn't. I should tell Mum. All right. All right, then. Not too close. <laughs> Mr. Manring. Yes, good. <laughs> yes, what, what is... Oh, it's you, Jones. What, what, what do you want? Permission to whisper, Mr. Manring. <laughs> yes, what is it? I just want you to know I'm very sorry everything went higgledy-piggledy for you today. Well, thank you, Joan. <laughs> Not your fault, sir. Tis the fortunes of war. You've always been a good officer to us, and you've, you've led us through sick and you've led us through sin, haven't you, sir? That's a very lonely task, being in command. Corporal? Yes, sir. Have to learn to take the rough with the smooth. Yes. Well, I want you to know I still got faith in you. Thank you very much, Corporal. Even if no one else has. <laughs> Good night, sir. Good night. Roll up!
Captain. <laughs> my, my word, you gave me a start. <laughs> a bit early in the morning for that sort of thing, isn't it? It is not early in the morning, Captain. It is ten minutes to nine. The rest of the camp have been up for two hours. Good gracious, we, we must have overslept. You certainly did. You had better hurry up. I want you and your men outside ready to start training in ten minutes. What about breakfast? Breakfast is finished one hour ago. <laughs> now, Captain, listen to this. During the time you and your men are here, every platoon is given the chance to capture my headquarters. So far, no one has been successful. That'll be all right. We'll go through them like a dose of sorts, <laughs> won't we, Mr. Manley? <laughs> now, this used to be a prisoner of war camp, and my headquarters are surrounded by two fences. One is barbed wire, the other is electrified. And the space in between is patrolled by dogs. Uh, 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 what sort of dogs? Alsatians. Oh, dear. And they do not get much to eat. Oh, dear. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Godfrey, you've got the bicarb. That's good for hydrophobia as well, I believe. <laughs> All right, fall it outside as soon as you're dressed. Yeah, oh, Josie, Josie, yeah, come here. What is it? Hey, look, I'm fed up with this. I'm starving. Well, so am I, but what can we do about Listen, it? Listen, I'll tell you what. As soon as I get a minute, I'll pop off and try and find some grub. There's no shops round here. Yeah, no, I know that, but there's a farm next door to the camp, isn't there? I mean, I must have something to eat in there. You leave it to me. In London, in London, oh, in London, oh, in London, in London, town, if right, London man. Bridge was falling down, oh, the house is London, in London, in London, and there within the palace yard, the soldiers of the king and God. Right up the music, roll up the drums, let all the trumpets play. And all the world we're facing the music. Here we all are and here we all play. The king is still in London, in London, in London. Like Mr. Jones, Mr. Brown, the king. You hear that, sir? They're going to use live ammunition. Oh, I shouldn't take too much notice of that, Wilson. <laughs> I can assure you they wouldn't dare. <laughs> Wave the flag. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a bit deep to me, Mr. Manrin. No, it's all right, Jones. We can cross here. You think that's wise, sir? Don't argue, Wilson. I tell you, I can see the box. Oh, good. Oh!
just taking it across the road. Soldiers, not boy scouts. about Mr. Mannering, where do you think he got to? I have no idea, Josie. One moment he was taking us through that smoke screen, and the next he seems to have disappeared into thin air. Oh, yeah. All right, on your feet, men. We've got work to do. Oh, sir, where have you been? Never mind that now. Well, what are we going to do, sir? We're going to capture the camp headquarters tonight. We can't possibly do that, sir. As you see, it's sort of surrounded by an enormous... Barbed wire fence. And second you though, that is electrified as well. Don't you say nothing of those dreadful dogs. Yeah, are we going to get through that lot then, sir? Don't worry about that. Just leave everything to me. After all, I've never let you down yet, have I?
Yeah. Yeah, look at all this stuff. Cool beef, spam, sugar, tea, the place is a blooming treasure house. Look at the stores. Jump big on those. Yeah, what a bunch that platoon from Warmington on sea I only hope they never have to face the Germans. You know, I think you're a bit hard on that, Captain Mannering. Yeah, it's about time these amateur soldiers were taught a lesson. They should go back to managing a bank. Good fittance. Yeah. All right, stand by, man. Excuse me, sir. I think I ought to stay behind and protect the rear. Good idea, Walker. Ready? Do, do you think it's wise? Oh, Wilson. Right, now. Weekend's work, don't you think? Uh, yes, I do indeed, sir. I, I, I shall never forget the look on that Spanish fellow's face when we, you know, when we burst into the room. Ah. Oh, amateur soldiers, indeed. I want to congratulate you, Captain Mannering. Thank you, Fred. I never doubted you for a single minute. <laughs> <coughs> I said once and I said it again, sir. You're our inspiration, Mr. Mannering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Excuse me, sir. Do you think that that Major Smith is going to recommend us to GHQ for being, um, oh, being so good? Oh, yes. Yes, he is. Oh. Although, personally, I would rather have seen the platoon get a more tangible reward. Oi, what's tangible mean, Jonesy? Means you can get hold of it. <laughs> right, get hold of this. That, that. Where'd you get all that stuff from? Well, I was protecting the rear, wasn't I? Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's a two bob a time, all right? Yeah. <laughs> 